Hello, Per Gessle. Welcome to our Good Karma radio show interview. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. I'm honored. Thank you. Okay. And I'm Seta on the show. She's Brenda, uh, also well known as Corinne. She's the producer of the program. Okay. Hi. Now it's time, now it's time to introduce my, my mate. Yeah. Hello, Per. I'm Miriam. I'm Gray in the show. Okay. Uh, we are going to record this interview to upload it to our YouTube channel. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, hi, Per. Hi. I'm Christian Briggs in the show. We yes. are going to ask one by one and we'll be adding subs later. Okay. Teta? Yeah, perfect. You go. Okay. Let's go. It's me first. Uh, first of all, Per, congratulations for the Bag of Trick release and your last solo album, uh, Gamma Charlec Restaurage. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. First question is, we know there are some demos still hanging around, like Do You Wanna Go With Me or Remember or Beautiful Things, the Rocky demo version, Sam by Marie. Why weren't they um, out from Bag of Tricks? Why you keep them out? Uh, because I, I don't have them. I don't... I, I don't know. I, and Michael, Michael couldn't find them, so I don't know where they are. I probably have them somewhere, but I don't. I couldn't find them. You know, I, I found uh, that's a song called "Bad Moon." Yes, "Bad Moon" demo. Uh, the, the demo. It's, it's not the demo. It's, it's actually a version we recorded uh, for "Have a Nice Day." Uh, oh, great. Whoa! I, I found just like like just before Christmas. I found. Uh, a rough mix of that song. It's not finished, but it's like a rough mix of a, of a finished recording. So, uh, but that was too late. Next okay. time, live. <laughs> next time, <laughs> next, next volume. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can check in our YouTube channel. We got uh, <laughs> beautiful things. Remember, and do you want to go with me? Maybe it helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know the song, but I, I can't can find the tapes. Okay. No, it's been such a long time, and there's, there's so many formats. That you have you have it on uh, CD, CDRs, you know, the CDs that you record yourself, and you have the, the that tapes, and you have the. It's like a mishmash of everything, and I just can't find it. it it's in my. It's somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> well, I, I can I can imagine. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, Neil, Neil, can you try to make it? Yes, ma. My, my question was about the recordings you make in the Montezuma studio, if there's anything left from that session that we haven't heard yet. From from which album do you mean? Or? No, not album, Montezuma studio, when, when you uh, um, I, I have a little technical problem hearing you. Yes. Um, Miriam is asking about Montezuma versions. We, we know that you have spent three days in the studio in Montezuma, and we are pretty sure there are more demos still left. Oh, no, they're not. This is it. The, 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 last, the, the last ones we did was those two Swedish songs, uh, okay. which uh, became so far away and surrender. So that, this is it, actually. We were probably okay. late, But we, I think we were only there for two days, actually. I don't know. <laughs> No, Mir, once again, because we are lost in your, your audio. Uh, I couldn't hear you. Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> once again, okay. Well, talking about demos, sir. Yeah. You said in some other interview that there are more material, as you have said now. Um, <laughs> oh, no, you, you just, you're disappearing again. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, Hey, Chris, uh, make your question. Yes. Per, um, okay. about some pairs left out in the gas talk, you mm -hmm. mentioned that you found Wish a Good Flight a leave from Seattle, USA, among five or six songs. Why yeah. did you include just one song? We want to hear them all. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's just a... I, I didn't want to have too many live live stuff on this this uh, the project. Uh, 
there, there is, the, I think there's only one more live thing. It's, it's the cry version, right? And the reason uh, for that song to be included is because it was, a, it was available before on a, on a single as a B-side or a bonus track or something. Otherwise, I, I didn't want any live stuff because uh, I think down the road, uh, we will release more live stuff. You know, we have, we have great uh, recordings from um, uh, Sydney, from the Joyride Tour, for instance. We recorded three nights there, uh, multi-tracks. So uh, eventually there will be live stuff coming out as well. But I just I felt for the bigger oh. thing, it's, it should be more of, a, of demos and, you know, deleted stuff and, and some unreleased stuff and not too many live, live stuff. Sounds great. Okay. Great. <laughs> yes. Next question. Any plan for updating the All Rock Sets catalog in Spotify or on different uh, digital platforms? It would be great to get the luxury remixes uh, that appear in All Rock Sets singles, for example. Mm. Uh, well, you know, there are, there are lots of remixes around and, uh, you know, I, I think the next thing we should do is to do like a, an anniversary edition of Joyride. There, there are still lots of um, unreleased demos from Joyride, uh, which I think are interesting. And also, there are also some songs that I wrote for Joyride that we never recorded, but they were re recorded and written for, for Joyride. So there, there's, there's about 10 or 12 demos that you haven't heard. I think. Oh, okay. oh great. I think that, <laughs> we, are, we are waiting for. Yeah. But you know, I, I, I think personally also you have to be, you shouldn't, you shouldn't release stuff just for, for the course of releasing it. It has to be good as well. It has to be, be like, a, it, it has like, like if you release a demo, I can understand why people are interested in demos because I'm interested in demos. I think it's nice to hear whether, how the song started when it was, you know, written and everything. Uh, This is a message from Anders Herlin. Ah, <laughs> say hi to Anders from us. <laughs> say hi for, to Anders. <laughs> He's always in my face at this time. He probably wakes up by now. It's five in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, He, can he's just waking up. <laughs> I think demos are... Yes. Uh, they're, they're, they're like... You know, when you do a tour, for instance, you record a lot of the rehearsals and stuff, but it sounds shit. And, and so why should we release it? I mean, it's not, it wasn't there to be released. It just, if there's something that is interesting, I think you could think about it, but otherwise you should keep it in the drawer. I think. Okay. Now, as a hardcore fan, we want to hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Mir, can you try? Well, I have another question of Bag of Tricks. When you um, uh, set up uh, the project one, the next thing is when they're going to, they're going to see. No, no, we, are, no, no we, are, we can hear you. You can hear uh, No. <laughs> oh. Now again. Let me, Wait, let, me, let me do another thing. Okay, Brick. No, it's 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 not it's not good my internet connection. Oh, but is okay. can't you speak is directed to your computer instead of using the headset? Without using the headset. Yeah. Can can't you speak? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. I, I think it's your headset. Okay. Now I hear you very well. Okay, my question. Uh, when you were presenting Bag of Tricks, uh, we had a single off and then the volume one, a single off and then the volume two, but there was no single off for volume four. Uh, we will have love to, to hear it in your heart or something like that. What happened? Was not planned any single? No, we, we, we felt like it was three singles in a very short space of time. So we thought the four, the four, when we released the fourth album, we also released the physical product, the whole box, the vinyl box. Uh, so and uh, the the CD box, uh, CD whatever. Uh, so I, we just felt yeah. like three three singles. Two of those three songs were brand new, or you haven't heard those before. Leftovers from Good Karma, and the third one was the Spanish version of You Don't Understand Me. We thought that was like enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, Per, 
do you do you feel that there uh, was something left to be done with Roxette? <laughs> I mean, pending things. You mean like what? Do, what do you mean if there was more like doing more recordings or stuff? Something else to do with Roxette that you couldn't. Uh, that we couldn't do. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think, of course, you know, everything changed when Marie got ill in 2002. So obviously, in, in, the, uh, in the perfect world, uh, it would have been uh, so much easier to, to do music together with Marie if she would have been healthy. She could say she had a hard time singing, especially the Good Karma album. She had a really hard time singing the songs. So there were lots of there were lots of songs that I wrote that she couldn't really get into because they were too 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 tough for her to do. Uh, and uh, so you know, I think when we left the Good Karma project, that was, we felt that this is this is it's over now for for for, for uh, when it comes to the recordings because she couldn't do it anymore. And also, I think. Marie felt that herself that, uh, you know, she, she always wanted to give 110%. She, she felt like she, if she couldn't do that, she doesn't want to do it at all. And, and there were, I, she really hated the fact that there were some songs that she couldn't really give the, the, the amount of energy that she really wanted to put into them. So uh, it was a point of no return in the end. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We we also miss Marie so much. Yeah, I know. We all yeah. do. And now we are missing uh, Peliasis. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. That was, that yeah, was, was sh so shocking. Yeah. Talking, talking about Marie Per, uh, have you ever thought about making your own version uh, of a Marie song? I think it, it would be really interesting to hear your interpretation on the Marie's track. Maybe Melan Somaro has fits perfectly well. Have you ever thought about it? Maybe uh, like a tribute for Marie? Do your own version of a Marie song? Uh, no, I haven't really because it's, uh, it's really hard to sing songs that Marie has sung before. <laughs> yes, we know. So, <laughs> and I feel like I, 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 I can't, I have to find like a very special angle to do a thing like that for the, for, to present the song in a very different way. And uh, I, I haven't really thought about it too much, probably because I'm, I'm, I'm so busy doing things all the time. So, I mean, it's, it's yes. like, uh, but it's an interesting idea, but it, it's, it's uh, I know a lot of, a lot of singers, especially female singers, Stay away from a lot of Roxette songs because they don't, they can't compete with Marie, you know. And yes, maybe it's it, it's easier for yeah. you. I don't know. <laughs> but but it would be really interesting. And um, I I remember the the covers you did for the Ramones, and mm. Sheena is a punk rocker. Your version is totally brilliant because mm. it's a new world for the song. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you have to do something like that. You know, you have to take take it down to scratch and just do it in a different way. Uh, but I, I, th I think there is lots of. Uh, that... On the other hand, yeah. I think it's there's. No, no. Lot, sorry, lot... sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. Uh, I think there are there are other songs that I really like a lot from Marie, like um, uh, the Standard Air song. I think that's her finest song. I think that's a really beautiful song, and that you can, you can do that in in so many different ways. So I, uh, we'll see. It's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what's ha what's happened <laughs> in the future. Mir. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. Bricks. No, I I got crazy in it, written again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the other on the other hand, talking about this this change uh, in in the voices uh, in the Roxette Diaries, we can hear Marie singing so much either. Yeah. <laughs> is there a video or something more uh, uh, more than, than the, what we can see in the the Roxette Diaries? No, I, it, it was probably just a joke. You know, there there are there are. I have um, somewhere on cassettes. I have recordings uh, of Marie singing songs with Yulna Tater 
uh, as back, a backing band. You know, we we we, she, we we wrote a couple of songs together, Marie and I, in the in the um, uh, like in eight, 1982, 83, uh, and we recorded some. Uh, we ha we had a rehearsal studio in those days with Ian Latilla, so we recorded some songs there with the band. Uh, and Marie was singing, and they sound really interesting because it's 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 great to hear her singing with a with a band like that. You know, it's it didn't you know, yes, it's a very special band as you know, so it sounds very Gilnatera, but with Marie singing instead of me. It's really crazy, <laughs> but it's fun. But you haven't heard I, though. I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One of these years. <laughs> Bricks. Yeah. Sir, uh, you have made a brief story about each <laughs> song in the Baco Strip. We want to know which of them brought you the happiest memory and which one the saddest. Uh, you talking about all the songs on Bag of Tricks? Yes. Or, yeah. yes. Oh, it's impossible to say. To say. I mean, they're, they're, it's, it's a... Bag of Tricks is a compilation that goes way back to the 80s and then to the very last songs that we recorded. So, I mean, it's a, the, best, the time span is really huge. So I can't really say that. When it comes to like um, uh, recordings, I think what surprised me was that the, the Soul Deep version uh, was so good. I forgot about that totally. I just found it and I didn't know what it was. And then I started checking my books and diaries and I realized it was intended to be a single from the Joyride album in the States. Yes. So that's why we did this um, really a big remix remix the version of it with, with the brass sections and stuff. Uh, and I, I thought that was an amazing version. I think it's, it's yes. even better than the original version. Uh, so that was a highlight for me. And, and you know, then, then of course, I mean, it's, uh, I, I, have, I have lots of, uh, good memories from the Good Karma recordings, but I also have lots of bad memories because of Marie's illness. So when I, when I hear Piece of Cake and, and uh, Let Your Heart Dance With Me, it, it all also reminds me a lot about how, how ill Marie was at the time. So, I mean, it's, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's not hard to listen to, but I, I, it's hard for me to appreciate the songs because I, I think about a lot of negative things. Oh, great. Great, thank you. The, the, next west, the next question, actually, you didn't answer <laughs> before because it's, uh, we know you got a lot of all your recordings from the past rock set tours. If, 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 is there any plan to release it someday in the future? You mean live recordings? Yeah, live recordings. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, we, uh, we found a really, really good tip from, from Sydney. Uh, and those three shows we did in Sydney were great. So th th I think this is uh, a Christmas, around Christmas 91, maybe early January 92, I can't remember. Uh, so, um, but we have, we have more. We have the, all those things that you, you, you have on, um, uh, on the d DVDs, you know, the Zurich shows and... Uh, Mm -hmm. We have some stuff from, from the room service uh, tour uh, recorded in, in Stockholm at the Globe here. It's over there. I can see it from here. Hello, Globe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so there's, there's, uh, there's, 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 a, there's a, a few of those. But, you know, in those days, it was pretty complicated to, to make live recordings. You had to bring, you, like, big machines in there and stuff like that. Nowadays, you just bring your laptop and you just line things up from the mixing console and you have a professional recording on your, on your computer. But so, I mean, it's the same with footage, you know, it's, it's so easy to use your iPhone and you just film things. But in those days, you had to bring a cameraman and a camera assistant and someone who's changing batteries all the time and blah, blah, blah. So you, that's one of the reasons they're there. It's really hard to, I'm, I'm so happy that also my wife, filmed all yeah. these things that we could see in the Roxette diaries because it's like, uh, uh, without her, it would be lost, you know, and nobody for, who would yeah. have forgotten it and remembered it. So it, it's, it's, uh, it was tough to do in those days. You have to carry things around. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Big cameras in the old days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mir? Um, my... Question is about uh, it's from a fan, uh, Roxana Rodriguez. Uh, she um, 
wants to know in an hypothetical case that this pandemic situation is over and you can tour this year, would you come to Argentina? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, I, I would love to to tour again and play Roxette stuff. Uh, and I, I talked to, to uh, already talked to Clarence and, and um uh, and the, the people in the band. I would love to bring 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 in Jonas on board, and we should do something. Uh, it's impossible to replace Marie, as you know, but there, there has to be another way to play these songs because I know, not only for me, but but also for, because I know there's a lot of people who wants to hear it. But mostly, I'm I actually think about myself because I would really love to play that song. It, it's it's such a it's so sad that that we can't do it, and now, now Pele is gone as well. You know, it's it's just. Yeah. But it makes you think. You may, may, maybe you should prior make it a priority because you never know what's going to happen in a year or two from now. Maybe maybe it can't be done anymore. So. I'm, I'm, Thank you so much. My pleasure. It was a, it was a totally pleasure. Um, you know that we love you. We are doing this program every Saturday just because you and Maria are are, are our mothership. Wow. And we do our best to keep Roxette alive always. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much for this interview, Per. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Say hi to Osta. I will do. She's downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye now. You're doing a great job. Fantastic job. And thank you. Thanks to all of you.